This is Vangel, and today I'm going over the Search Then Engage Advanced Waypoint Action, which can be used to define what targets an aircraft can engage as it's completing its flight path. In this example, we can see we have three air defense targets set up, as well as four armored ground targets. We're setting up the first A-10 to engage only the air defense targets, and the second A-10 will engage only the armored ground targets. Examining the loadout of the first A-10, we're able to see that it's equipped with two air-to-air -air IR missiles, as well as four air-to-ground AGM-65Ds. This aircraft will be used to engage only the air defense targets, and taking a look at the Search Then Engage Advanced Waypoint Action, which can be found in Type, Start On Route, Task, Action, Search Then Engage, we're able to see that we're able to define exactly which type of target the aircraft will be able to go for. In this case, we have aircraft and air defense only. Next, we can see engage distance. In this case, it's checked at 30. This is the distance the aircraft will engage the targets at. This is also dependent on the AI's ability to detect the enemy. In this example, this aircraft will follow its assigned flight path, and if it detects any enemies within the 30 kilometers engage distance, it will bank over to engage. The second A-10C is set up very similarly to the first, with the only difference being the setup in Search Then Engage. In this case, we'd see that it's set up to only engage infantry, fortifications, vehicles, and armor. When adding a new en route task, the old one will still apply, as we can see CAS is still on the list, which will tell the aircraft to engage anything it comes across as far as ground targets go. So we'll simply delete that advanced waypoint action leaving Search Then Engage as the main en route task. And with that, the setup is complete and ready for in-game testing. Although there is an alternate means to set this up, as we could see by clicking on the Condition tab and selecting Is User Flag 1 True, we could then define a trigger to set up User Flag 1 to be true when the group RUAD01 is dead, which in this case is the air defense targets. In game, we're able to see as the A-10 flies along its assigned flight path, it detects the enemies, and then starts banking to engage. The detection range of the aircraft is largely dependent on what skill it is set up in in the editor, but there is an element of randomness where sometimes the aircraft just will not detect ground units at that time. As the A-10 gets on course to the target, we'll be able to see as it fires one AGM-65D for each of its targets, which in this case is three air defense targets. With the three air defense targets down, we're able to see as the second A-10 starts its en route task to engage the armored ground targets. With all targets eliminated except for that last single T-55, we're able to see as the A-10 banks around to engage one last time.